Hello, my pretties. From now on, I no longer want to be called. I paint pretty faces. Oh, dear. From now on, call me. Dion say. Cue the diva fan. Hi pretties and welcome back to my channel. If you click the link on this video, well if you click this video period, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. You already know what we're here to do. We're here to do another wig review. Let me say I apologize in advance if you hear a little background noise today. It is the evening and people are home. It's it's what it is. I still gotta get these reviews done, honey. So let's hop right on into it. This unit right here, oh wait, have you subscribed yet? I'm just saying, if, if you're here, you might as well just go ahead, press that subscribe button. It's quick, takes two seconds, two seconds, two seconds. Go ahead and do it, get it out of the way. I'll wait. All right, you should be done with that now. Let's get into the wig review. This wig was sent to me also by Local Beauty. Thank you so much, Local Beauty, for sponsoring this video. I definitely appreciate it, and I am loving this unit right here, y'all. Did y'all like my intro, my whole Deonce intro? Yeah, that was cute. That was real cute, right? So this unit that has me feeling like I am mini Beyonce is called Imani, actually, and it's by Autre. I always love all tray units. Whenever I get an all tray unit, I automatically know I'm gonna love it, I'm going to like it, it's going to be absolutely amazing. This particular unit is a Swiss Lakes I part unit or L part unit, however you wanna say it. It's in the color DR2730, which I'm loving. It has the dark roots, it falls into the 27, and then it ends on a 30, which reminds me of the whole Beyonce type of vibe. Her hair in reality is a little bit lighter, but I think for my skin complexion, y'all know I love 30s and I love 27 blends. They look really, really good if you're like my skin complexion, or even a little darker than me. It works very well to go ahead and get this color. It's the soft, flexible lace on all Altrey's units. It says it's a soft lace, but honestly to me, the lace feels a little bit on the harder side. I've definitely had lace wigs that were more soft than this unit. Not to say that there's anything wrong with it. Honestly, I prefer a unit that has a more sturdy lace. I don't know, it's something about the way that it lays when I do my parting and stuff. It looks much, much better. But since we're talking about the parting anyway, this is the parting space that we're working with right here. I went ahead and I added some concealer to the parting space with my Autre units. I love them because they are quickly, they're units that I can just put on very, very quick and I can go. When I know I have to get to an event or I'm rushing or whatever, I know I can put on an Autre unit and I can get it styled in under 10 minutes and it can look excellent because the parting space is always appropriate and it's always what it's supposed to be. It's tweezed, very, very, very nice and it's very realistic. So all I had to do was put a little bit of concealer. Other things that I had to do to prep the hair, and let me know if y'all want to see how I prep my wigs. I have one wig review on my channel that I actually showed you start to finish what I did, and the views really are about the same as my other wig reviews, so I'm not really sure if y'all like that type of thing or what, but comment down below and let me know if you wanna see how I style my wigs from start to beginning. So in addition to doing that to my parting space, adding my concealer, I also added some mousse to the hair. Well, first out of the um, packaging, you know, curly hair is always like kind of constricted and it's very flat. So I had to kind of like finger comb it, fluff it out, and that added a lot of frizziness to the unit. So I wanted to take that frizziness down some and still have that volume. So I used my Cantu mousse. You can use any type of mousse that you have. It really does not matter. I use mousse and I use water and that's what got this texture going right now. I think it's really pretty. Let me give y'all an up close texture shot since I'm right here. I think the texture is really, really pretty. The curls are super pretty and dope. I like the color that she has on on the stock card. I don't know if y'all can see it because of the lighting, but it's kind of like a purple color. I think next time I'm gonna try something like that, but I've really been feeling these blondes, these 30s and all of that, these warm colors. I think that this wig is really pretty 
for summertime for beach days i don't see this unit being an everyday unit because it is a bigger curly unit let me pull all the hair forward because i actually have some hair in the back so this is what the hair and the unit looks like when i pull the hair all forward so as you can see it's a nice amount of hair so i can't foresee you going into the office or anything like that with this much hair on your head but it's definitely made for a beach day it's definitely made for those miami trips those dominican republic trips anything like that you can definitely rock this unit too it's Big head friendly, all tray units are always big head friendly. So whenever you buy an all tray unit, you never have to really worry about it being not big head friendly. In my experience, they've always been big head friendly. Let me go ahead and give y'all the 360 because I know y'all love to see that 360. So this is giving it to you from the front. This is giving it to you from the side. Here's the other side. And y'all favorite part, this is giving it to you from the back. That's not. Why am I so damn dumb? Okay, so y'all seen the 360 of the unit. Y'all know I have a scaling system. I feel like I'm leaving something out with these units. All tray reviews are always so quick and easy. Honestly, because all tray is always on their shit. They're always on their P's and Q's. They are always doing everything right. I'm not gonna run into the stocks of this unit about it being curling iron safe and stuff like that. Don't take a curling iron to this unit. Don't take curling irons to any synthetic units. Just, just, just leave it alone. And it, I would have to give a five out of five stars because it puts me in the mind of Beyonce. It's this pretty color. It's curly. The party was right. It's big head friendly. I mean, why would I not rate this unit five stars? Like, and even with the shedding and the tangling, I'm not experiencing any shedding or tangling yet. It's bound to come because let's be honest, the hair is big and the hair is curly. So tangling is going to come. That's a natural occurrence of curly hair. You're not going to have a curly hair unit or you're not even going to grow curly hair out of your own head that does not tangle, it just happens. Shedding happens with all synthetic units. Some of them are worse than others, like that blonde unit that I just reviewed, but this is just very, very normal and very, very natural. I'm really enjoying this unit. I will have the link down below where you can go and purchase this unit and also the link to Loco Beauty, the company that sent me out this unit. I've really been enjoying the units from this company. They have a beautiful selection of synthetic units. They have human hair um, units. They have uh just like combs and like hair supplies and things like that so definitely check them out in the links below as always comment below and let me know how you feel in this unit are you liking it are you gonna cop it oh look at that that just laid slayed slay, slay, honey she's ready she's ready okay so get a life diera Thank y'all so much for watching. Comment below and let me know if you're going to be picking this unit up. And as always, let me know any other units that you want me to review, any colors, anything. I will pretty much be your guinea pig and I will try it all out. Thank y'all so much for watching. Remember to stay pretty and I'll see you on the next video. That little blow kiss was so tingly.